Hold on, hold on. Plug in the camera. Come on. Okay. Alright, my headphone homies. Uh, right, what was what was we got today? We are looking at the Grado SR80s, which are a slightly more reasonably priced pair of Grados, but they still sound pretty amazing. Uh, I remember, I haven't had a set of these for many years, but I remember being blown away at the value for money. Like, if you change the pads to a bigger pad, like the, the, the salad bowls, which you can get cheap Chinese copies of, the, the sound stage is amazing. I was just looking at these and it's quite interesting. Uh, the little button with SR80 is normally held on with hot glue and you can see on this one the plastic mesh is all warped. Like the, the, the circles aren't even so I'm wondering if they overheated it while they were sticking that on. Also, let's get that on video before I pull these apart. I don't want someone saying I melted it. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's how... Uh, yeah, it's just, it's just interesting that the plastic mesh is a little bit warped on that side. Slightly warped on that side, but noticeably warped. There, can you see the pattern? Anyway, uh, blah, 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 blah. Let's get these apart. Well, and the first thing I noticed versus the other ones that we've been doing is these have a thinner cable. So I'm wondering if there's fewer cores in this one. As we noticed on the PS1000, the sort of £2,000 headphones, they had six wires. And then the ones that are around £500 had four wires, so I'm wondering if this has just got two wires. Be an interesting, um, interesting thing. But yeah, the cable is definitely thinner on these than other other Grados. Uh, I'm gonna unhook the ear cup. I've got the warming doodad warming up. As I said, uh, I I've only ever done one pair of these, and it was about it was for my own personal pair, which I then eBayed off because couldn't afford to keep them <laughs> um, at the time because I was super poor but um, yeah I remember them not being too bad to come apart but they've probably changed the design you know it must be 10 years since I since I did a pair of these so they might have changed the, the design slightly originally you had two halves to the plastic body which slid apart and it looks like that is still the case which is good. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to warm those up a bit. Yeah, so on here you can see some of the hot glue around the edge there. There's a little bit of schmoo on there. So yeah, so this central part slides out from that one once it's released. You have got a little bit so the cable doesn't get caught. So on the PS1000 they didn't... On the last pair that I did they didn't have that, but I'm sure I've done a pair before that did. So maybe they've changed the design. So we'll let these warm up and then we'll get those open and we'll have a look at the, the driver in these because we've had a look at the other drivers and it'd be interesting to see what the driver's like on that. And we're going to do a detachable cable mod on this. So we're going to be putting some sockets in. I think we might be doing three and a half mil sockets on these, which means we'll have to drill the hole out a bit bigger to fit. Um, but it should be should be entirely doable. So anyway, leave those on there for ten minutes, and uh, we'll, we'll we'll pick up in a minute. And we're back. Okay, it's been on there for about ten minutes. I made myself a nice. Uh, sorry, got a, got a sweet in my mouth. Uh, made myself a cup of tea. Helped wake myself up this morning. It's a mad tea. It's got like cucumber and all kinds of weird stuff. But it's it's quite nice. Right, okay, so, uh, they're nice and warm, so now, hopefully, they should come apart. So, I'm just grabbing the lip and pulling. Oh, this one's definitely moving. Come on. As soon as I take it off the warming plate, it starts solidifying. <laughs> right, okay, so there you can see we've got it, got it apart. Uh, lots of, just lots of hot glue around the outside. Ooh, interesting. Okay, sorry. So, I don't know whether someone's already had these open. They might have done. Um, but you've got some of that schmoo on the back of the driver, which you didn't used to have on the SR80s. That used to be a mod that a lot of people did. 
put some damping material on the on the driver. So that's that. And as you can see, uh, holes on the back of the driver, there are none in the tissue paper. So other models we've seen with four or, or more holes. And that is to do with tuning. I, I, if you open up a hole on the back, you'll probably get more base on there. So they've obviously decided that that's, that's you know, that's enough base for these. But obviously more base isn't always good base. It is often wobbly bad base. The bad base line. Right, so. Um, these might be nice and easy to fit a socket to. I'm just letting the other one warm up a bit more. No, doesn't want to come out. Why do you hate me so much, Grados? Why? No. More heat. More heat. Right. Okay. There we go. Right, so that's all tucked in there with some bubble wrap, which is going to act like a little insulator to, to help in there. And also I can see if this gets too hot because the, the bubble wrap will start to melt. Okay. So we're going to start by removing the wires. Or shall we? Because what I'm thinking is... If you're modding a pair of these, you're probably going to want to do it the cheapest and easiest way possible. Uh, so what we might do is just snip the wires, sold them onto a socket. So if you're following along at home, it's a relatively easy job if we do it that way. So looking at the cable, as I said, yeah, these have just got two conductors. So under £200, it looks like you get two conductors, like 500 to 700 you get four conductors and then over a thousand it looks like you get six conductors which is interesting interesting again similar cable design where you've got a very loose fitting outer sleeve so what I'm going to do is I'm going to snip it about there to give myself a bit of a bit of room I can remove that and then I have these two two wires already on there so that's going to save time on the soldering. You're going to find an appropriate socket. I should have a bag of them here. So we just, these are little two and a half mil sockets. Now then, have a plan. Have a plan. Again, to make this easier to do. Yeah, so I, what I reckon is we can get that socket in that hole like that, screw on a couple of threads of this which will hold it in place nicely. Then what we're going to need to do is embiggenate that hole slightly so it'll fit over that. So I'm just going to use a Dremel, you could sand it out, you could do whatever, but use a very sharp knife. We're going to Embigulate that hole. So, first of all, we're going to want to solder these wires to the socket. Yeah. yeah. Alright. So, I think that's positive, that's negative. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to strip these wires back a little bit. Um, it might be worth leaving a bit more length on this than I've got. It's a, it's a toss up between doing a super neat job, like if you've got less wire it's a neater job. If you've got more wire it's easier because you've got a bit more room to, to manoeuvre. Okay. Gonna, I'm just going to tin the ends of these wires. There we go. Nice and easy. Easy does it. Yeah, this is this is it. This is the way to do these. 
this is not, this is a nice easy job. So I'm going to pop that socket back in, and get this on. So it's got like a few threads. Turn that down on that. Okay, so that's one socket in. Happy days. And then, yeah, to get that to fit on there, now you have to embiggen that hole. Embiggenating, engage. That embiggened enough. Hmm, borderline. I could slightly bigger. There we go. Big. Alright, so we're gonna, that's one basically done. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna reuse the glue. That's what I did on the last pair. So I'm gonna rewarm these pieces and then screws them back together. Um, cool, right, so hopefully this other one is now warm. Warm enough. We'll start warming these ones up. Ready to put them back together. Is this now cooked? Oh, I got some movement. I got some movement. We're winning. There we go. I'm done. And that will just be a case of rinsing and repeating. Same place. Alright, so that's that. It's relatively tight. And now we need to embiggen the hole in the other one. So these ones have warmed up a bit. We can now maybe put the oh no, no, that one this one. Put those together. Is that gonna work? Yeah. Oh. Ooh, so. Yeah. Right, so we have one with a socket, and now I'm just going to invigilate the hole on this one a bit. There we go, so that's that's pretty much it. Now I just gotta solder some 2.5 mils on the other side. So that was a quick and easy job. SR80s easy entry level mode. So it's an entry level headphone and entry level modding. It's, yeah. Do that. Do that by all means. That's that, that was easy. Especially the way that I did it there without detaching the wires, just reusing the original ones. Takes a lot of the complexity out of it. Um, right, yeah, so now all I have to do really is recycle this cable. And that is going to be easy as well because it's thinner and I think it's going to fit in the 2.5s, alright? Uh, with this one, we're going to also shorten it at the same time because it's a little bit lengthy. So we're going to cut this down and shorten it. So if you want to see how to shorten a cable for a uh, SR80, we'll we'll do that. I'm gonna I'm gonna do that that end in a bit because that's boring. This might be vaguely useful for a video, so we're gonna chop this down. Uh, what length did we want? We wanted reduce the label to uh, stop label uh, stop cable to 1.6 meters. Okay. So let's measure this up. One meter. One point six meters. Okay, so we want to shorten it to there. Snip. Then I'm going to strip off a bit of that. So I'm just going to go around the outside with a scalpel just to kind of give a nice neat line. Then I use the wire strippers. Strip that off.
Okay, and then inside we've got our four conductors. You've got two blue on these ones. The blues are the negatives. And then we've got a white and a red. Red being right, white being left, usually. All right, cool, 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 cool. So I'm going to tin the ends. It's a pretty easy job. You know, any any pair of headphones is going to be pretty similar. You can have three or four wires to connect to the jack. Strip them back. I would always recommend tinning them first. Makes the operation easier. We've got got some pretty nice jacks. I'm going to put a nice jack on this. got these look at that oh nicely machined body on those big thick piece of uh, something or other I don't know feels a bit too heavy to be aluminium might be steel and then we've got cores here in rhodium or gold should we go with gold traditional right I like the rhodium I think they look classy but not a lot of people know what rhodium is so they, um, they assume it's a cheaper jack when it's actually more expensive. But <laughs> we'll go with the gold. Okay, so I'm just going to pop, the, pop that over there. But yeah, I've chosen these because they've got quite a fat opening on the back there. Big enough for this cable. Also, they're sexy. Let's not, let's not forget that. Big important part. Okay, so we have this. So, uh, well, if you're soldering a jack and it looks like this inside, this one is the tip, this one is the ring, and then this one is the sleeve. So we're going to solder the sleeve first. Just get a little bit of solder already on there. A little bit on the jack as well. Okay, so what I like to do is fold the ground ones backwards like that and solder it on. It makes getting the cable in the clamp afterwards easier. There we go. I'm just going to get my micro manipulators because these are awkward to hold and it gets a bit hot. So if I can hold it with these, save from burning my fingers. So I'm going to do the left one, which is the tip. See now because I've soldered that upside down that now naturally kind of goes into the into the clamp at the end there. What I might need to do is just trim this back a bit, might be a little bit too long. Alright, so that's all soldered onto there. Do this up. Okay, so I'm just going to check there's not continu continuity between any of the pins. Oh, that was close. I just, there we go. Yeah, no, they're all good. Let's get hot glue over the, over the cable clamp to help it not slip. And a little bit in here just to give those a bit of a support. Ooh, hot, hot, hot. Okay, screw that up. Okie pokey. So, um, so that's how you rejack a cable for some for some grados. We've seen how you do a detachable cable mod. I'm just going to kind of neaten this up a bit and finish off the cable and then we're all done. Alright. Yeah, like, subscribe, do the things with the buttons and the stuff. Do, 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 do. Jazz hands, jazz hands. Alright, see you. <laughs> anyway, okay, bye, bye.